Well, damage to a pedestrian bridge over the crosstown causing headaches for many of us as some lanes on Highway 62 are forced to close today. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Carlson and I'm Amy Hawker. We just found out from MnDOT that those lanes will be reopened by tomorrow. Fox 9's Paul Bloom has been looking into this for us today. So Paul, drivers will be happy, but not so great for the people living in that neighborhood. No, it's interesting, Amy, Kelsey. This is a popular, much used pedestrian bridge that truly keeps the city of Edina connected over Highway 62, uh, the crosstown, uh, giving everybody a safe passage uh, from one side of the freeway to the other. And as I step out of the shot, just to show you how much work these demolition crews have done today, just in the last few minutes, we saw one of those big, heavy steel beams come down to the ground. And now to a couple photographs here to depict exactly what we're talking about. The bridge on the left a year ago and then in March. That's when it was first damaged by an oversized truck. Well, it was hit again yesterday by a truck carrying a load that was just too high. The damage at that point just made it too risky to allow it to keep standing. Crews spent Wednesday chewing up and ripping apart this damaged pedestrian bridge over the westbound side of Highway 62. Westbound traffic lanes remain closed throughout in this well-traveled corridor, frustrating motorists who are forced to take detour routes, including those coming from downtown Minneapolis and route to suburbs like Edina, Eden Prairie, and Minnetonka. Meanwhile, eastbound traffic slowed through the work zone as motorists tried to catch a glimpse of the demolition. Well, I mean, it wasn't a lot of traffic, but enough to kind of slow everything down. It was like a five minute or so slow down. This popular bridge gives pedestrians, particularly Edina residents living north of 62, a safe, easy way to connect to some of the city's special amenities in and around Roslyn Park, including disc golf, a playground, picnic areas, and the aquatic center. I often see the kids coming across there, a lot of times with the bike. And now, without that bridge, they have to go around down Valley View, which is a busier road, and uh, so there's more traffic. The pedestrian bridge had been close to foot traffic for several months after a truck struck and damaged it. Well, on Tuesday, it happened again. This time, MnDOT wasn't taking any chances. Westbound traffic was shut down before the evening commute. And then Wednesday morning, these demolition crews got started immediately. The mission to remove the damaged westbound side of the span, leaving the rest of the structure intact for further work later this fall. And in the meantime, get traffic moving through here in both directions just as soon as possible. And certainly hearing anecdotally that the traffic that has been moved off the crosstown, making a mess of some of the city streets and other detour routes. I know I was detoured some 25 minutes yesterday trying to get out of downtown during the evening commute. MnDOT has said these demolition crews are making some great headway. So the hope now is to have these westbound lanes between 35W and 100 reopened in time for tomorrow morning's commute. We're live in Edina. Paul Blue, Fox 9. All right.